Imagine missing a payment on a Tesla and the car drives itself back to the dealership. Now, does that give you a hint about what we will be discussing in today's video? No? Well, the two world famous brands are separated by exactly 100 years. How they financed their growth could not have been more different. You would think comparing two car companies would be easy, but not when those car companies are legacy automaker Ford and hot electric car company Tesla. Yes, both of them manufacture automobiles, but that is pretty much where the similarities end. There's a mystique about Tesla Motors electric vehicles that border on the cult-like. People believe the upstart, high-tech automakers' EVs are different from Ford cars on the road. I mean, they are, but a big part of the Tesla difference isn't so much about what these cars have as it is about how they are built, and believe it or not, what they don't have. The foundation of that difference is that Tesla, the Model S Sport sedan, the Model X crossover, and the upcoming Model 3 family sedan have been designed and engineered from the start to be electric vehicles. Tesla didn't have to make all of the compromises other car companies have made to squeeze EV bits into a package never intended to hold them. Tesla also was founded and is run by a team of people committed to the idea that the passenger car can be both exciting to drive and friendly to the environment. That performance and environmental sensibility aren't mutually exclusive. And while the cost of a Tesla isn't low, it's a price that fans are willing to pay. Let's take a deep insight about Tesla and Ford, shall we? There are rumors that Tesla is considering a stretched three-row version of their Model X SUV. The project is on Musk's desk waiting for a decision on whether to go forward. Their next car is Elon Gated. Yeah. Delving into the stories of Ford Motor Company and Tesla Inc., separated by exactly 100 years, is amazing. Founder of Ford, Henry Ford, entered the full-time workforce at age 16 and worked for nearly 20 years before starting his first venture. His day job was not only a way for him to support his family, but also a means of acquiring knowledge as he switched jobs to learn things that he did not already know. He rose quickly and by age 29 was chief engineer at Edison Illuminating Company. While he held down a day job, he worked evenings and nights on his larger goal of using an engine in a self-propelled vehicle, an idea conceived at age 13 when he saw a stationary steam engine for the first time. He finally started on his own at age 36 with his main assets, the patents, and knowledge acquired over two decades of toiling in the evenings. Elon Musk, probably in keeping with the times in the 1990s, ventured into entrepreneurship at age 26 soon after graduating. He started Zip2, raising money from angel investors and later PayPal, making substantial money in exits before entering Tesla in 2004 as an investor at age 33. He was already wealthy by then. Tesla was founded in 2003 by a group of engineers who wanted to prove that people didn't need to compromise to drive electric that electric vehicles can be better, quicker, and more fun to drive than gasoline cars. And today, Tesla builds not only all electric vehicles, but also infinitely scalable clean energy generation and storage products. Tesla believes the faster the world stops relying on fossil fuels and moves towards a zero emission future, the better. So, how exactly did Tesla set itself apart from Ford, who is also a strong competitor? First, Tesla develops cars as it would a software product. Tesla builds cars by developing software on unique hardware, much in the way Apple develops the iPhone or Microsoft leverages Intel chips and Dell PCs. This enables the company to improve in car software functionality every few weeks. This is in sharp contrast to the traditional auto industry model where the product is the same for as long as you drive it. With fewer parts, the total cost of Tesla ownership is significantly lower than an internal combustion vehicle. There's no need for expensive oil changes, tune-ups, replacing mufflers, and the like. The automakers, who derive significant profitability from their service businesses, know this. Second, Tesla simplifies the buying process, putting the consumer in control. Tesla doesn't advertise in the Sunday newspaper or put ads on the radio. Instead, it uses the classic software inbound sales model. They know consumers are smart and will find them. They understand the buyer's journey very well. Buying a Tesla is relatively simple. You go online, pick a model, add your features, place your deposit, and schedule a pickup. Done. Third, Tesla leverages its prowess in battery technology to minimize the total cost of ownership over the vehicle's lifetime. 
Tesla's battery-powered vehicles are significantly simpler than their internal combustion competitors. By some estimates, they have significantly fewer parts per vehicle, around 20, versus the 2,000 in internal combustion engines. This simplicity dramatically reduces the consumer's total cost of ownership. Tesla has recently acquired battery manufacturing companies and will incorporate new kinds of battery-related technologies into its vehicles, which could further reduce the cost of ownership. While other automakers like Ford are rushing to acquire the right electric battery expertise, they will still be playing catch-up as this market grows. Fourth, Tesla attaches itself to the predominant market trend of the day, going green to reduce global warming. From a marketing point of view, Tesla already has a big advantage in some categories. Who wouldn't want to own a car that creates no pollution, eliminates visits to the gas station, and is truly green? Other automakers, including Ford, are going to be playing catch-up on this issue for a long time. People get mad at Tesla drivers for falling asleep behind the wheel. My car must be broken or something because every time I fall asleep while driving, it takes me to the hospital. Another difference for Tesla is that all the technology power, and environmental friendliness, and a few things Ford and other car makers offer comes in the package. Here's a rundown of what makes Tesla better than Ford. Design. Not so much the exterior. Teslas are modern, sporty cars, but they still look like cars. The foundation of the Tesla difference is what's underneath the sleek skin. Because Tesla designers started with a clean slate, they were able to develop the car around its electric powertrain and battery. The battery pack didn't have to be squeezed into spaces previously occupied by a gasoline car's trunk, rear seats, or engine bay. And there's no transmission hump or drive shaft tunnel. If you look at a bare Tesla platform, you'll see that it looks a lot like a flat skateboard. That gives Tesla a fairly roomy interior and lots of cargo space behind the rear seats as well as the front. Fuel storage. There's no fuel tank on a Tesla. There is a very large battery pack, which contains the energy storage cells, as well as a cooling system and some electronic controls. All that is packaged into a flat box between the frame rails, under the floor pans a few inches above the ground, and protected from objects in the road by a titanium shield. This gives the 4,600-pound Tesla a tremendously low center of gravity. The battery pack weighs about 1,200 pounds. That helps it stick to the road on corners or when you are hurrying through the twistiness on your favorite mountain road. Instrument Panel Ford gives drivers a lot of knobs, switches, soft touch buttons, and even joysticks to contend with. Tesla puts almost everything onto a massive center-mounted 17-inch display screen that provides clear, easy-to-use, on-screen touch controls. The only buttons on the dash are for the glove box release and the hazard lights. The speedometer and energy systems information are digitally projected onto a driver-facing screen where conventional cars keep their analog and digital dials. Propulsion System Ford and other cars use internal combustion engines and multi-speed transmissions. They have hundreds of moving parts, require regular maintenance, and can't be adjusted without a trip to the shop. Tesla uses electric motors that have two moving parts and single-speed transmissions that have no gears. The company says its drivetrain was about 17 moving parts compared with about 200 in a conventional internal combustion drivetrain. The Tesla system is virtually maintenance-free, and because it is controlled by electronics, many adjustments and even repairs to the Tesla system can be made through software adjustments. Wireless Updates Pretty much alone among all automakers, Tesla regularly provides software updates for its cars and delivers them wirelessly at the driver's convenience. Most are free and upgrade various functions on the cars. One of the most recent is supposed to improve the operation of the Model X's unique but oft-criticized Falcon Wing doors. As most Teslas are produced with all the hardware necessary for functions such as the Tesla Autopilot Driver Assistance System, the company also sells wireless software downloads to activate them. Ford and other car makers would require a visit to the dealership at least and most likely an expensive vehicle modification along with any new software. Let's take another short break to ease the brain. Journalist. What's the model name of the upcoming SUV? Elon Musk. Why? Journalist. Because I'm asking. Elon. And I'm telling you. Journalist. So if you're telling me, what did you say it's called? Elon. Why? Journalist. Why? Elon. Exactly. Journalist. So it's the model, exactly, Elon, no, why, journalist, no, why, what, 
Elon. No what? Just why? Journalist. I don't know. Elon. No, that's the time frame for delivery. Ah. A lot of Tesla skeptics over the years have been saying just wait until company X releases car Y and that will be the end of Tesla. We have seen Ford's latest automobiles and have seen Jaguar I-Pace, the Porsche Taycan, and the Audi e-tron, but Tesla continues to be successful. Much has been made about Tesla's shortcomings as a mature maker of cars. You can say what you will about their build quality, interior designs, and their messaging on autonomous driving technology, and how that lines up with reality. But Tesla has proven time and time again that, if nothing else, they do bulletproof electrification technology. Tesla detractors will point out that its success is that of a big fish in a minuscule pond, selling about 1% of all the cars in the U.S. market, though claiming over 80% of U.S. EV sales in H1 2020, that it would not be sequentially profitable without the sale of carbon credits, and that its cars rank near the bottom of the Consumer Reports reliability rankings. All of these are true. But the fact that the company seems to be where the auto industry is headed wins out, along with the fact that consumers see owning a Tesla as a unique statement and not just a vehicle. I have always been intrigued by the fact that while most car makers like Ford spend scads of money to restyle their cars every few years, Tesla has one basic look that stretches across all its models and has never really changed it. That's a powerful lesson to the industry on how to make a car brand desirable without relying on the trivialities of fresh sheet metal. Tesla is often compared to Apple, a comparison it likely welcomes, except in one respect. Apple was synonymous with personal computing in the late 70s, only to recede to a small market share from which it never recovered. Can Tesla continue to maintain the momentum is a question going forward. All that has a beginning will definitely have an end. But let's not end it here. Move down to the comment section and let's keep the ball rolling. Air your thoughts and I'll surely respond to your opinions. Also, if you want to stay up to date with all of my new videos coming out, then make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell icon next to the subscription button. Turn on all notifications and that way you will be notified whenever a new video is released. Do have a great time. Till next time. Bye. Bye.